Hello everyone! I'm here today with a new process video and as is pretty obvious this is for New York because this is the Met. I've got a full 6x8 over here and I've got a 3x8 insert on this side with something special here that I've got two inch pocket up top and I intend to fill that with sequins. I also have this card. I bought a t-shirt from this exhibit and this was the tag that came with it and I thought well that's kind of cool that it shows like the main image for that for the exhibit that I saw and says the mat so I want to use it on here I have no background picked out yet I also don't know if I'm going to keep this little hole up top string something through it or cut that off um, I do have some baker's twine that I was thinking about it's yellow and white there is a yellow sun here no yellow over here but I could work it in maybe but so I have lots of things kind of in my mind, but I don't really have much pulled together. I will say I do have my fuse tool heating up already. Here it is. So if you've never used a fuse tool or seen it used, you will see it, see it here today because I do need that in order to do my sequin pocket. And the only other thing I know that I want to incorporate is this. I specifically put this in my New York bin because I knew I wanted to use it for the Met. So I probably won't use the hearts, but I want to use this. My intention is to use it right on this left-hand side here to cover up these people that were doing photos because I don't know who they are and I don't need to see that. And then it doesn't take away from what's up here. So my plan is to just do that. And then I might embellish with color a little bit around it, you know, to pull it in with this. We'll see, I don't know, but at least that's what I'm starting with today. Since I have to wait for my fuse to heat up a while yet anyway, I might as well do this right now. I can attach it and get that part done. I did want to show too that this full 6x8 photo does use metallic finish. I had this one done by Nations Photo Lab. Look how gorgeous that metallic finish is. Hopefully the camera picks it up. But I wanted this to be special and so I chose to use that finish. But now I can attach the wood veneer. So I've got my mono liquid glue here and I just put on little lines there like so. A little of this goes a long way. You have to be careful, especially when it's new like this one is, because if you squeeze too hard, it will get everywhere and you don't need a lot to make it stick. The nice thing about this though is that if you do use a little too much, it won't really matter because it dries clear so you won't see it. Okay, so I have that adhered on there and I'm going to let that dry. And again, I do plan to embellish. I'm just not sure with what. I kind of need to do this side, I think, first and then this side. So while I'm waiting for the fuse tool to heat up and for this to dry, I think I will start looking at my background options and my sequin mix. This kind of tells me what my mix will likely be. Anything in here is going to match both sides, particularly red because it appears both sides. However, given that this is a pocket page, these sequins are going to show through. So I also have to make sure it matches what's on this side. So I want to look at this quickly here. So I could do yellow and blue. Those are both in there. Green. Green appears in both. Not so much the orange. So that might be it. Green yellow, blue, because there's a little bit of red, but it looks kind of orangey here. So that makes me nervous to do that. And I do have quite a bit of red already. So I think, I think, yeah, yellow, blue, and green should be the main colors. As I get started on picking out the sequins, I did want to showcase this. This is how I store my sequins now. For the most part, I have a few odds and ends that, that I put elsewhere because either they didn't fit or there was just something weird about them. But these are from Joann's. I found them online and just did a curbside order, picked them up at my local store. But it comes with 12 of these and I've done them in color order. So this particular set happens to have both green and blue in it, which I need. So I pulled those first. But then I will also go into the yellows and I might even do some clear ones just to add that in there because you can never go wrong with those. All right, so I have a couple of options out here already and I've actually decided I'm for sure going to use this blue sequin option. Mostly because I love 
the bright blue of it compared to like something like this, which is a mix, but it's not quite as bright as I would like. And the fact that it has this little disc shape, it almost looks like a record, like a vinyl record. It's very visually appealing and it will contrast the other things that I have. I have both of these out for my green options. And I think I like this one better just cause it's a little bit brighter again. And that's kind of what I'm going for. So I'll probably end up using that one, save this for something else. So then I still need to find a little bit of yellow to match the sun and then some clear sequins. For the yellow, I pulled both of these, but I've decided against this one because this is that disc or vinyl looking shape like the blue. I don't want to have two of those that are exactly the same style and exactly the same size. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go with this one, which actually has some white and clear mixed in. So that's kind of the best of all worlds. Now I still may use some clear sequins in there as well. I have these little stars, which I love. They're very sparkly. And then these are just a standard sequin. But I'm gonna mix in the yellow first and see what I think. Maybe that's enough, but if not, then I'll add more. I added the yellow, white, and clear mix, and I just want to, oops, kind of stir it around, see what I think of all the colors. I'm making a mess of all the colors mixed together. I think I do want to add some clear ones. I'm not sure that that was quite enough in there, so I will add that and then I'll come back. To have a nice variety of different sizes, I decided to go with those sparkly stars rather than just the plain clear ones. And I do like that. I think it gives it a nice little sparkle and shine in there. So I think what I'm going to do is mix this in and see if that's enough. If not, I can always add more. Generally speaking, I, if anything, I tend to add too much and I have to take some out, but hopefully that didn't happen this time. Okay, I have it all in there and mixed together. And I think my fuse tool should be ready. So I have this laid out on just a cheap piece of cardstock, or excuse me, cardboard. This came in a photo order I got, so I'm not using anything crazy here. You just really need something that has a little bit of a give so that the teeth of the fuse tool can grip it. Okay, so I have my fuse tool ready and I have my little guide here. So I'm just gonna put this down and I want it pretty close to the top. I usually try to go maybe like an eighth of an inch because you want it to have a good seal there. You go cl too close to the top and it won't seal well. But I also know I have a lot in there and so I don't want it to pucker or have gaps in it. Then you just take your tool, run it along the side. Oh, gotta make sure the teeth are rolling. There we go. It's being stubborn. There we go. Sometimes that's the trick. You have to go to a little bit of an angle. You can't go straight up and down. And you need it to just really get the teeth caught in there and then it'll roll smoothly. And then hopefully we have a good seal. It looks like it from here, but the true test is to do this. Yep, not losing any. So that is a good seal. So when I see these next to each other now, with the sequins in there, with a little bit of yellow here and here, I think I am going to use the Baker's Twine. I've had it forever and I hardly use it. I bought it a long time ago when I was still doing um, some decent card making. I don't make a lot of cards anymore, but yet I still have the twine, so I might as well use it. This is the Baker's Twine that I have. It's from Stampin' Up! And I was trying to see, is there a date? on here somewhere that might indicate how long I've had it. I don't see one right off the bat, but trust me, I've had it a while. I have added the Baker's Twine in there and I like it. I think it adds just enough of a hint of yellow to really help with that. However, I still don't have a background here and I'm sort of stumped as to what to pick. I'm wondering if I should go with a gray similar to this so that they seem like they blend and it's a neutral. And then I can add some yellow over here or some blue. So I'm going to go into my gray scraps and just see what I find. So I pulled out two pieces of cardstock from my stash. I didn't have any already cut that matched. And I think both of these will look nice because there is a more gray hue here. This almost is a little bit more tan mixed in with it. So I pulled both of these. 
there's that one, which is more of a gray to match that. And then there's this one, which has more of the tan or brown in it. And I definitely think I like this one better. So I'm gonna cut into this and I will get the right size here, get that in there. So it'll just be a three by six. I can put this over it and then figure out, do I want to embellish anymore on this part or will it only be over here? All right, since I have all of this put together, I'm looking for the final embellishments and I was thinking about using these stickers. They're epoxy, so they have a nice shine and glitter to them. And I think that goes with what I have happening here with my sequins. And the right colors are in there. I have the bright blue, I have bright yellow, and maybe not red. I'm still not convinced that that's right because this is so bold, but I feel like maybe I need something up here to, to bring in that red. I'm not sure about that. So I think I'm going to start with some yellow, green or blue over here and just see how it goes. As I was getting ready to put those on, I realized I put star sequins in here. Yeah, they're small, but if you look close, you can see they're stars. So I feel like maybe I should do stars instead of hearts. So I have pulled out these puffy stickers from Ellie Studio and I have a mix here of stars I can use and just these little dots. I could even work in some red with a dot rather than the rest of this and I think that'll work. So I have this done. I added some puffy stickers over there in the colors I wanted and over here and originally I had a white puffy star there and decided I didn't like it. So I'm going to use this wood veneer one instead and then it will mimic what's on the other page since I already have some wood veneer. There we go. And hopefully that'll feel like a better match. Maybe, ah! Maybe right about there. Yeah, I like that better. All right, let's see what I think here. Yep, I like that better than what I had before. And I think this one is done. I don't want to add too much to it and overwhelm it. The sequins already add a lot, and this is a lot of color. So I think this is another one done for New York. Thanks for watching.